Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, this video is going to be about the two Weissman tracks um, which I've purchased, well I've purchased one from Getz and I've purchased the other one a couple of days after. Um, now one of them is a tipper truck um, and the other one is just a tractor unit which is this one here and it has the facility to have a trailer popped on the back here. Um, now Weissman have got their own um, mechanism for attaching their trailers. Unfortunately um, <laughs> Weissman, although they list trailers on their website, both the UK and the German, um, they don't actually have any. Um, so all the trailers you see are on pre-order. Now I inquired um, two Weissmen about when these would be released, the trailers, and I got a reply saying next year, early part of next year. It doesn't say when, so it could be March, April, January, don't know. Um, <clears throat> so I thought, okay, I've had a look at scores of different YouTube videos on the Weissmen um, vehicles. And um, what a lot of people seem to be doing, uh, primarily in Germany, is to be using trucks and trailers and buses, etc., from a company called Herpa, which is another German make. But they obviously don't have the Weissmann technology like, like these do. Um, they're just really just like the Oxford diecast models, they're just models without any mechanism in them at all um, and a lot of people have been using the Herpa trailers to put onto their Weissman tractors if that makes any sense um, so I thought okay I'll give that a go and I saw this one on uh, the Weissman website and I looked to see if there was a UK uh, seller and Amazon actually sell them. So I looked on the Amazon site and sure enough they had this one and it was in stock and it came today. Obviously the mechanism for mounting the front of the trailer to the tractor unit is going to be different so I'm going to have to modify this. I don't know yet, I haven't opened this to find out but I'm sure I'm going to have to modify the mechanism for attaching the trailer to the tractor unit um, which is what I propose to do today. Now with a bit of luck and a following wind it might just slip on but <laughs> I very much doubt it. Things don't work like that do they? Um, I might be in luck, it might just go on, um, but if not, then I'm sure I can find a way of modifying this so that I can put this trailer onto this tractor unit. If I can get that to go on, which I'm sure I will do, if I can get that to go on, my next issue I can see will be, will this be able to go round with the trailer on? around the route I've already got for the road system uh, for the high street. Now as you know you've seen on previous videos <clears throat> I've got two loops, one well two corners, um, one at either end of the high street, one round by the bus and the other one round by the uh, the block of flats if you like, the square. So the square I don't think there should be too much of a problem uh, of an issue because there's a, a reasonably amount of room there and the only other issue is will it be able to turn in within the bus station at the end so even if I get this to work to hook up um, there's still no guarantee yet whether this will make it all the way around the loop of the high street the other thing I have to consider is the height. Um, let's have a look. It's about the same height. The 
um, station entrance where the um, high street is, there's a canopy and it's quite low and this tractor unit just about goes underneath. Like the buses, they just about go underneath the canopy. So there's three things really uh, to consider. The two ends, will it go round? And the canopy. So, but the first thing obviously is to see if I can get this to hook up to this. The other thing I've done, let's put that away some over there. <clears throat> the other thing I've done is that on the, or in the process of doing, on the tipper truck, you can see that I've taken the actual tipper part off. And that is because what I want to do is to put a load inside the tipper unit. This is the tipper unit which fits on here, and that just literally unclips from the rear on that bar. So what I've done for the moment is I've made a small filler piece to go inside there, like that. I will then cover this, and I want to put some earth, fine earth in here, um, which I've got some um, Woodland Scenics fine earth. So I shall fill this up to a, a bump in the middle and um, have that as fine earth and then that can sit on there quite happily so it looks like it's got at least a load on it. So there's two jobs really to do here, that's this one and the trailer. So let's move these out of the way over here, open this up and see if this fits on which as I say very much doubt it will just pop straight on. It's only made of plastic, it's not metal, so it's very light. And that's the trailer. Looks very nice actually. It's quite nicely detailed. And I think, have a look, yeah, the end opens too. Although I won't be utilising that as such, but it does open. So, let's have a look at the bottom. Okay, so they've got a spigot with a little nodule coming out on one side to lock it into position. I don't know if you can see that. And you can see the little nodule just here coming out the side. So you, you, you would put it on 90 degrees and then turn it so that it locks into place. So, wish me luck, let's see if this fits on. 99% guarantee it won't, but let's have a go. No, of course not. Okay, <clears throat> the two things are happening here. The, the little nodule here is too big and the actual spigot coming out is too big as well in diameter. So I think what I've got to do is to pare down that spigot coming out so that it fits within the hole just get that into focus that hole there so that it drops down through the hole the other thing I have to consider is the angle because obviously this is going to be sitting on the road like that and it's got to be at an angle where these four wheels at the rear are rotating I can't have it too high I can't have it too low because obviously either pair of these wheels will not be turning so it's got to fit at about that kind of angle and those wheels are turning 
So that's the height I'm after. So I can actually, I think, let's have a go. If I rest that there, it's not in the right position, but it's right in the right position as regards to the height. <coughs> let's see if that turns. Yeah. So these four wheels at the rear are turning at that height. So I know that if I compare that spigot down enough so that I can drop it through that hole, it should lock into place and be at the right height, in theory. <laughs> so I will do that. Um, I think what I would do, I would use, turn it upside down and use my scalpel very carefully to just trim this down. That's the plan. So I will do that off camera. <clears throat> you don't want to be bored with me seeing me do this. I will uh, trim that down and come back to you and see what happens. Okay? Oh, one other thing before I go. <clears throat> As you know, to start these vehicles up, well, perhaps you don't know. Um, <clears throat> to start these vehicles up, you get your controller and it has a little magnet at the end here. Um, and you hold it over the cab, over this amber light, and it activates. And it memorizes the last um, speed input I put on this, so the back wheel is turning. And to turn it off, I just hold it over there again. The cab light comes on, the brake light comes on, and that's now deactivated again. I was looking through some drawers today and I came across, I've got about three or four of these things, which you put the lighting on for coaches. And I thought, do you know what, that would be, if it works, that would be so much easier to just pop that over the top and trying to use my controller vertically. And guess what? It works. Ha! How cool is that? Deactivate it. Job done. So that's going to be a lot more useful to me to use that than to try and use this because sometimes the, the vehicles are not right up close there either end of the road or something so I should probably be using this to activate the vehicles I've still got to use a controller for speed inputs indicators etc but that's okay okay I will uh, crack on and do something with this thing here if I can. So I'll speak to you later. Bye for now. Bye. <coughs> right, well that didn't take very long. <clears throat> so with the aid of my scalpel and a little file, then I was able to make the spigot in the trailer thinner and also I decreased the height of it to it because it was bottoming out on the bottom of the tractor unit. So without going up to the roadway I thought I would just give this a quick go here. What I'm after is see if I can get this to work, there we go. Um, to see those four wheels rotating. Which they are. Perfect. So, I think, apart from testing it out on the road system, um, <coughs> that seems to be working fine. I'm just pleased that those four wheels are all rotating. 
like they should do. So it's the right height. Good. Okay, so that's one job done. Um, I think what I would do um, before I start on this, um, I will put this on the roadway and see if we can get a complete loop uh, on the roadway. So, wish me luck on that and uh, I'll show you the uh, results. See you in a minute. Hello again. Right, the big test. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to work. Uh, so the first problem is going to be the canopy on that station entrance. I, I don't know at the moment whether that trailer is going to clear underneath it or not. We'll soon find out because that's really the first um, thing to test. And then of course the turnaround up by the bus station, whether it will make it round there. And likewise the turnaround at this end here. But there's only one way to try it and that is to start it up and give it a go. So fingers crossed and get it going and watch it. Come on baby. Oh bugger. Oh no it's not it's not the canopy actually. It's the steering. Bear with, bear with. Just gonna have to put this on the here a minute while I sort it out. It didn't pick up the wire. That there I think. That's got it. Oh well, at least I know it goes round that corner. Come on, clear. Ooh. Just fashionably touched it, didn't it? It didn't it didn't actually detach from the lorry so that's good <coughs> just got caught up in a tree <laughs> I think um, this is going to be the real test I won't know until it comes out, the, if it comes out the other side. Well, the lorry has. Oh, it's still got its container. Excellent. So it's done that corner. Let's see whether these trees are going to get caught. Let's clear those. You can see the brake lights come on now really clearly. Will it clear the trees? One more little one to go. So now we've got the last corner. Come on. Do it, do it. Yes. Whew. 
Right, let's see what happens up at this blessed canopy. I think I might just have to shave a little bit off the canopy that is. It is just fractionally touching. Not enough to worry about, I don't think. Let it go around this corner once more. Make sure it wasn't a fluke. Cool. Excellent. Right, let's get me wand and I'll shut that down. Excellent. Right, um, one thing I need to explain to you, which I've forgotten about. Let's put this over here. Obviously, this is not a Weisman trailer, it hasn't got the um, LEDs at the back for sending out the signals um, to the other vehicles. Uh, it's only on the uh, tractor unit itself at the moment, but Weisman have listed a add-on which you can put on to exactly this sort of situation. If you want to put a aftermarket trailer on they do a, after, um, a, a kit which gets put onto the rear of a trailer which hooks up to the control of the Weissman truck. They list them but of course they haven't got any in stock so again I inquired and once again they will be available next year sometime. So until that stage what I've got to do is make sure that this unit is behind the blue um, tipper truck um, because that will receive the signals from the blue tipper truck from this way. If the tipper truck comes up this way behind it it won't be seeing any signals because they're going to be hidden by the trailer here but that's a minor detail I can do that I can keep them both running at the same speed and if they come up to the zebra crossing then it's no issue because the uh, tipper will be in front of this one okay so excellent that works really pleased about that that makes it more look like a complete unit. I may put a load in this at a later stage but I'm going to do the tipper truck next and put a load in that definitely of earth um, but I will get this video posted anyway because it's probably going on for too long and I'll show you the tipper truck at a later stage. Okay I'm a happy bunny pleased with that. Okay folks Bye for now, and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.